You know, very often you plan a menu around like a big piece of meat or whatever. I like to think more in terms of vegetable and sometimes we have menu with all vegetable, especially in summer and spring, and I'm not even a vegetarian, but I love it. And today I did a great dishes here with the uh, endive, you know, the Belgian endive with some olive too, and I'm here to share it with my friend Roland. That's your name, right? I think Roland Passo is from the same town that I am in France, in Lyon, and he has one of the greatest restaurants in the world, several restaurants, but one of the greatest right here in San Francisco. So we're going to enjoy it. You want me to tell you how I did that? I would love for you to tell me, and I would love to test it, of course, because it smells okay. so good. I think I, I need to have a bite. I'm going to give you, you know some me, I'm not shy. right there. Yes, here you are. You test it. And uh, if you like it, I'll tell you how I did it. Th then uh, you're going to eat any, or you poison me? Uh? No, no, that's it. Mm. Oh, like this is that? good. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's quite easy to do, and this is how I did it. Start by bringing half a cup of water to a boil. Then cut each endive lengthwise into quarter. Arrange the quarters into the boiling water. Season with salt and pepper. Now smash two cloves of garlic and chop it fine. Chop a cup of black olive, pitless black olive, and sprinkle them over the endive. Then drizzle everything with a little bit of olive oil dash of vinegar and a dash of soy sauce. Finally, chop some chives and add it to it too. Cover it all and cook until the endive is tender, about 10 minutes. And that's all there is to it. It's ready to serve the endive with olive. And that's how I did it. Wow. Pretty simple.